Hi, you've reached uh, Kevin Dwyer. Uh, leave a message after the beep. I said after the beep. Beep. Oh, hey. You're a fucking faggot. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> hey guys, uh, this is my fifth blog now, number five. And um, today, instead of sticking on the north side of my building to my right, I'm going to go to the south side and look at a guy who is rarely in his room. Uh, we see him in the hall sometimes, but he's usually living in his second house, a.k.a. the library. So, um, he's another douchebag, and uh, his name is Oyster. Oyster, yes. Well, it's Oyster, but I call him Oyster. Okay, so, blog number five, Oyster. When Oyster was a baby hobbit, he vowed to destroy the ring he found in his Cracker Jack box. But then he realized that the ring belonged to his next door neighbor, who was a sex offender. He lived next to a lot of sex offenders since he lived in St. Louis. Because of this, he grew up a troubled life, and his mom smoked meth. Because of his mom's meth addiction, he vowed to help others. So he decided when he went to school that he wanted to become a doctor. So he sat in the library and studied, and studied, and studied. He studied to the point where he was just going crazy! Like those colors on his shirt! Which reminds me, he dresses like a fruity douchebag. Why even spend money on those really expensive polo shirts? Why doesn't he buy just a white shirt and highlight it? Because that's what it looks like. He blinds my eyes. Actually, his polo shirts were a perfect source of light when he decided to set up his second home in the Lewis Annex portion of our library. His favorite class was organic chemistry. And that's because he got to learn about how drugs were formed. So from the day he entered his pre-med courses, people rarely saw him. They knew little to nothing about him because all he did was lock himself in his room or live in the library and study every moment of the day. So finally he got accepted into med school. Guess which one is the douchebag? This gave him time to do things that he wanted to do like bully people like Ron and Dolby which was hilarious. Through his bullying, I found out a lot more things about him. Especially the, the fact that he's a penist. He's one of the biggest penists I've ever seen. You should see when he plays with himself. I mean, plays it himself. <laughs> he's a penist who knows how to handle himself very well. He also plays the skin flute. I, I mean clarinet. <laughs> it's black. And long. I wonder how he fits it in his mouth. Not only could he play those instruments and others, but he's also a really good pitcher because he knows how to handle balls. He also seems to have a special relationship with all his catchers. If you know what I mean. Watch out for his palm ball. Once he gets a nice grip around it, he makes you cough. And that's why he wants to be a pediatrician. He'll probably give his patients really big lollipops for doing so well during the procedure. Speaking of procedure, that reminds me of his relationship with Ron. Ron likes windows. But 
Oyster owns a Mac. Oyster is the devil. The only thing they agree on is hating Mexicans from crossing over our border. He'd probably shoot one, but after he mowed his lawn and cleaned his pool. Jose! Now we're going to have an interview from someone who's met Andy once. I've only seen Andy in the hallway, and I think he's a douchebag, just like Ron. I heard he wanted to be a gynecologist, but he couldn't find an opening. Overall, Oyster doesn't want to take over the world. He's also a douchebag. I am not. Did I mention he's a douchebag? Because he's a douchebag. Douchebag. And I'm sure he's going to be a wonderful pediatrician. This is the end of Vlog Number. Hey, nigga, give me a high five.